Alright. What is up guys, Mason and today we're gonna to be reacting some to some creepy 911 calls. Now, this is just a warning uh, for you guys, like young viewers, kinda of like me, but I'm not allowed to watch this because I don't get scared. So um this is just a warning. I gathered up six of the creepiest. Okay. So one second. Just set it up. Uh, sorry, it's like blocking my face right now. Setting it up. Alright, so we got it. Here it is. You guys ready? I'm really kind of scared right now. But here we go. 911 calls I can find, and I'm sure at least one of them will send a chill up your spine. It's Number a warning. Six. In this call, a man living in Washington reports a tall figure running across his yard. By his description, it almost sounds like he's staring at Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot. 911, what are you reporting? At least I don't think Bigfoot's real. I don't like to think that. Sometimes I force myself to think that Bigfoot's real. Because usually everything's real. If you put your mind to it, everything's real. So that's a little, that's our lesson of the day. I'll probably be doing lessons of the day, so yeah. If you put your mind, this is the lesson of the day for today. If you put the, your mind to it, anything can be real or it can be made. Uh, we got someone or something crawling around out here. Did you see what it was? Was it a person or an animal? Or I can't tell. All I know is that my sensor light came on and I just happened to glimpse and see this thing running across the yard. A uh, good sized man or something looks like a man. I don't know what it was. Just it, it ran across the yard. Okay. You've had problems in the neighborhood before? Yeah, my dog was killed here just recently. I don't know what it was. Whatever it is, it's running. I couldn't catch it if I was going to chase it. So whatever it was, it was standing up. I'm out here looking through the window now, and I don't see anything. I don't want to go outside. Jesus Christ, you better... Sir? See ya. Hello? Get somebody out here. What's going on now, sir? That son of a bitch is about six foot nine. I don't know. Do you see him now, sir? Yes, I'm looking right at him. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on. He's right... Is he in your yard, sir? Yeah, God, he's big. Sorry guys, my bird! Shut up! No. Shut up! Alright. Okay, what's he doing in your yard? He's looking at me. Oh, and the guy is on foot. It's... I don't know what, it, it, it's, it's a big, real big person. That's all I can say. Okay, but it is a, it is a person. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it was a person, somebody really big. All in black. Oh my god, that's so racist. <laughs> that's so racist. Is he a black male or a white male? Did you actually see what it or was he just wearing black? That's so racist. That's not even funny, that part. Like, is he a black male? Is he a white male? Or yeah. This is so racist. He's all black and he's big. He is big. All black and he's big. He is big. He's Number five. And he is this big. Call, a woman who's home alone with her baby reports a man trying to break down her door. Now, I've heard this one already, but I'll just let you guys listen to it. Why not? Because I've, I've already heard this because I was watching others. And I've heard this one already, so I'll s let me just check in with all you guys. Can I add the camera? This is good now. Right, let's get in. Sorry I was, if I was out of the camera. Is there anyone with you? No, just my 
his job anyways but some people are just stupid and ask questions and be like oh, are you still there one it's really creepy i don't know if it's on this list because it's my first time watching it but yeah uh, let me check how many minutes i am recording for six so you better get quick because this is 16 so i have no idea what's going on right now guys Unfortunately, shortly after this call, the woman was raped by the intruder. Number four. In this one, the caller is Jake Evans, a kid who has just killed his mom and sister. He doesn't sound angry or sad or scared. He just sounds like he's a broken soul. 911, where is your emergency? Uh, my house. Okay, what's the emergency? Uh, I just killed my mom and my... Yeah, I've heard this one. He's just like... Uh, I just killed my mom and my sister. That's it. Sister. <laughs> you just killed your mother and your sister? How did you do that? Uh, I shot him with a, uh, 22 revolver. Are you sure they're dead? Yes. <laughs> what kind of question would you ask that for? Like, are you sure they're dead? Um, I don't know. How about you come over here and look at it? Okay, I want you to stay on the phone with me, okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Where is the gun? Uh, it's on the kitchen counter. Is there any reason that you were so angry at your mother and your sister? Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I wasn't, it's weird. I wasn't even really angry with them. I just kind of happened. I've been kind of uh, planning on uh, killing for a while now. I've been planning on kill for a while now. I've been planning on kill for a while. Now. In this call, Nicole Simpson calls 911. Simpson! Reporting her ex-husband, O.J. Simpson, for trying to break Simpson! in. Simpson! Close to the end of the call, you can start to hear O.J. yelling in the background. 911 emergency. If you get someone over here now to 325 Gretna Green, he's back. Please. Well, okay, what does he look like? He's OJ Simpson. I think you know his record. Could you just send somebody oh, over here? Okay, what is he doing there? He just drove up again. He just drove somebody up again. over. Okay, wait a minute, what kind of car is he in? He's in a white Bronco, but first of all, he broke the back door down to get in. Okay, <laughs> wait a minute, what's your name? Nicole Simpson. Uh, okay, is he the sportscaster or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Thank what is, you. Wait a minute. We're seeing the police. What is he doing? Is he threatening you? I'm going nuts. Okay. Has he threatened you in any way, or or is he just harassing you? You're gonna hear him in a minute. He's about to get in again. Okay. Just stay on the line. I don't want to stay on the line. He's gonna beat the shit. Wait a minute. Wait. Just stay on the line so we can know what's going on until the police get there. Okay. Okay, Nicole. Uh huh. Just a moment. Does he have any weapons? I don't know. Okay. He went home and now he's back. Okay. My kids are up there sleeping and I don't want anything to happen. Okay. Has he hit you today or no? No. Okay. You don't need any paramedics or anything? Uh-uh. Okay. You just want him he broke to leave? my door. He broke the whole back door in. And then he left and he came back? And he came and he practically knocked my upstairs door down, but he pounded it and then he 
screamed and hollered, and I tried to get him out of the bedroom because the kids were sleeping in there. Mm -hmm. okay. And then he wanted somebody's phone number, and I gave him my phone book and was going, or I gave, put my phone book down to write, mm -hmm. write down the phone number that he wanted, and then mm -hmm. he took my phone book with all my stuff on. <laughs> what does he say? <laughs> I think they meant to say, um, the cold instead of the operator. So the operator wouldn't say, OJ, OJ, the kids are sleeping. It would be more like Nicole, so I think they messed up kind of like right there. Then 4221 RD 825. Just stay on the line, okay? And see if so, what's something that you do? Oh. Number two. In this clip, an elderly woman calls 911 to report a suspicious man who came to her door. I know, this is the one. This one may be a little more upsetting than the others. It's kind of creepy. And I have <laughs> What's the problem, ma'am? Oh, well, there's some guy been uh, checking the place out. Oh. Well, he went in the back. I have an apartment in the back, and he said he was looking for a guy. And he comes to my door. trying to break into her house. The police didn't make it in time. However, she was armed. I don't think it was armed. Uh, he's trying to get in my back door again. Who is? Okay, who is? But this is uh, Ryan, I guess. Ryan, you guys, this is a boyfriend, a friend? No, 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 no. He, I've been having a lot of problems with him. Please. Okay, they're going to be on their way. Okay, did he come in a car? I don't know. He's trying to get in my back door. Okay. Has he been talking to you or how do you know it's him? No, Did you see him? No, I don't. Somebody's trying to get in my back door. Okay, I want you to stand around with me and keep, you know, kind of... It's... Okay, I want you to stay... I want you to stay on the line, not online. It doesn't make sense. Online? Like you're playing Minecraft online? Okay, okay. Please get there in case anything happens. He's in the back door. He's at the back door. I get it. They're going to be on the way. I just want to stand the phone with okay. you until the officers get there, okay? Okay. What kind of car does he drive or does he drive? Uh, 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 he pound? I don't know. It, well, he's trying to get in my door. With a lot. Yeah. Where are you yeah. In the bedroom, right? Yes. Okay. What? He broke the window. He's in...